But first, could you be one of the uh, millions of Brits owed thousands of pounds in compensation? Well, if you've even got a car in finance, then there's a fairly good chance you could be owed some serious, serious money. This surprised all of us today. Alice, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. to you. Yeah, um, what really, a shocker. Wow. Really important to listen up for this. Um, it's been mumbling around for a long time. We've all heard rumours of it, maybe. But according to my social media, there are many, many, many people out there who do not know about this. So this is to do with car finance. Now, 80 to 90 per cent of new, car and new cars and many, many, many old cars are bought on finance. Of course, we can't afford to walk into yeah. a garage and buy a car with money from our pockets. Um, when you buy a car finance agreement, you have to really fully understand what you're buying in order for it to be a safe and um, a really good uh, deal. Now, the financial conduct... Um, uh, authority, FCA, have been looking into the selling of contracts and they have found that up until January 21, when the whole process was outlawed, dealers were doing a really sort of sneaky thing. Sneaky if they didn't tell you about it. So you're the finance provider, you're the car dealer and I'm buying a car, OK? I come to you, you say, OK, he's prepared to lend the money and he's going to do it at a certain rate of interest. You say, OK, well, I'm going to put a bit more interest on top of that because then... I get more commission. From who, And then? you allowed him to do that, her to do that. Who do they get the commission from? Me. I'm buying the car. Okay. I'm paying the amount. You're giving her the money. She's adding on a bit more interest. It's called a discretionary commission arrangement. Right. You can pick the amount of interest that I pay because you get more commission on top of it. ITV News was speaking to one dealer who said there's no money in the metal. They don't make money from selling cars. They make money from the finance agreement. Now, this particular kind of agreement was outlawed by the, uh, outlawed by the FCA in January of uh, 2021. But so many people, millions of people, will have bought cars in the period up until then, and they are going to be entitled, we think, there's an investigation underway at the moment, to compensation. Now, if you bought a car before January 2021, probably dating back to April 2007, you need to have a really good think about how you bought it. Did you buy it on any kind of finance? Not just cars, bikes and vans Sorry, just as to well. reiterate, back to 2007? 2007, so think back. Um, and think, OK, I did buy a car. God, I've had three cars since then, because you like to turn over your cars. Any finance agreement you had um, on a car, a bike or a van in that period of time, in those 14 years, have a look. Um, you need to start what? pulling out the details because you could be entitled to commission. Can now, you get those details if you're going to throw them out? Because you might Yeah, be, yeah, yeah. There's available. ways of doing that. And you think, OK, well, hang on a minute. Is this a big thing? The reason why I wanted to do this story today is Lloyd's Bank issued their results today. And Lloyd's um, this morning said that they were putting aside £450 million as a provision for the potential impact of the SCA review of historic motor finance mis-selling agreements. Now, that's a huge amount. It's not going to be the full story, though. So Lloyd's have a, car, a finance arm which is called Black Horse. Lloyd's Black Horse, um, and they are the biggest players in the car finance sector. It's a massive, massive industry. It's worth billions of pounds a year. So they've been put that yet? money aside. No, no money has been paid out yet apart from one test case. Right. No money will be paid out until the FCA come to the end of their investigation, which is going to end at the end of September. Right. But we need to gather our paperwork, we need to lodge our complaints with our car finance, our, our finance providers, so that we are ready to make our claim wow when the clock starts ticking. And this is going to be big. So Lloyd's, when they put money aside for the big PPI scandal, they put about £3 billion aside. It ended up costing them some £22 billion wow. in the end. So this £450 million, all the financial experts are saying, that's a drop in the ocean. It's going to cost them much, much more than that. The majority um, of people watching today, Alice, will be affected by this. Yes, I mean, there's absolutely, no doubt about it. So yeah. what do they say in that... 80% of new cars are bought on finance. What do you say on that phone call? You don't. You do it on a template letter. We're going to issue a template letter. There are others around there, but we're going to put one on our app and on our website. What you need to work out is, who did you have your finance with? Now, you might not even be able to find that. Look back on your bank statements, because it might tell you who you were making those monthly payments to. So look back on your bank statements, find out who your policy was with, 
Can you find your policy paperwork? Do you know the policy number? That's going to help. Obviously, you're going to know your name and address and date of birth. You're halfway there already. And then you issue your complaint and you lodge it with your car finance provider. And then you'll be ready for the kick in September when they decide the FCA is bound to say that this was an unfair practice. Of course, the lenders at the moment are adamant this was not unfair. Um, and Lloyds Bank have said, we welcome the upcoming industry review. Our customers don't need to do anything right now but can wait for the FCA outcome. Not the advice we're giving, I'm afraid. We're saying do something now. Any customers would like to make a complaint should contact us directly using the contact form on the Black Horse website. Santander, similar response. They're aware of the FCA's intended review of historical commission arrangements and we welcome the clarity which the FCA's intervention on this important issue will bring. Um, this is going to be a huge story that we will keep coming back to. Don't panic about it. Just think back in your mind. Have I or anyone I know got a finance agreement that dates back on my car, on my vehicle between 2007 and 2021? And if you have you are bound to be due some commission. Right, OK. Uh, well, someone else who, who knows a fair bit about the car industry is motor journalist Ginny Buckley. Now, Ginny, this story must be causing an absolute stir in the motoring world. Yeah, good morning, guys. It, it absolutely is. This is massive, massive news. I mean, it's been a, a scandal that's been simmering around for a while now. As Ali said, it looks like the lid is about to be blown completely off it um, and millions of consumers will be potentially in line for payouts. Um, but I think what we need to remember is at the heart of this is hardworking people who shelled out a lot of money for new cars and paid more on their car loans. The key part, though, without them knowing. So while it's massive news for the industry, it's massive and really welcome news for all those car buyers. Ginny, it sounds like the industry's been found out a bit here. How are they reacting to it? Yeah. Craig, they've been unusually quiet, I would say. Um, so, of course, as Alice explained, the, the, um, this whole um, thing of like, bumping up interest was stopped in 2021. Um, and I think they're probably now sitting back, waiting with bated breath to see, you know, what the outcome of this investigation by the regulator is going to be. Because if they do find that there has been widespread misconduct, there is no doubt that the floodgates will open. As Alice said, this is going to involve a huge amount of consumers, a huge amount of cars that have been sold. And, you know, there will be an absolute ocean of claims coming forwards. Uh, Ginny, we're in a world now where you can't just go and buy a car outright anymore, can you? We, we, we need that finance. So how will this affect buying in the future? I think car buying is really changing, Josie, to be honest. You know, that traditional way of going to the dealer, yes, it matters for a lot of us. And again, you know, car finance is a really important part of us getting on the road. But there's lots of different ways of buying cars coming in. You know, we're seeing brands arriving now that people watching today will never have heard of. Um, and they're selling cars perhaps online, not through dealers. They've got, you know, pop-ups in, in, uh, in shopping centres. We're seeing the rise of car sharing, of things called subscription, which is where you package up the cost of the car with the insurance, with the road tax, uh, with the servicing and pay one monthly fee. But the biggest change that's coming to the industry is something called agency sales. And this, at its most basic level, is that the car buyer will fix the price for the car. So the car um, maker will fix the price for the car. So there'll be no going in to haggle with a dealer shopping around because that price will be fixed by the car maker. It's coming in really slowly, but you can expect over the next five years to see the way that we, uh, we buy cars absolutely transformed. Thank you, Ginny. Thanks, Thank you. Ginny. Thanks can so I much. just add that there are many, many claims management firms out there offering to do this whole claim for you. Mm -hmm. You can do it through them if you want. You don't need them. As I said, we're issuing a template on our app and our website. The claims management firm will take 10 to 15, <laughs> maybe 20% of your right. fee. So just hold fire, right. don't panic, and they're all over the internet like a rash. And just right? to reiterate, don't be too concerned about what you have to ask. You're going to provide a template, it'll be on the website, Absolutely. everything. We're going to hold people's hands through this, are we? Absolutely, and we're Great. going to return to this story and make sure people get their money back. Probably a thousand, fifteen hundred pounds per person. Brilliant. Nice. Uh, such an important yeah. story to cover, yep. Alice. Thanks so much for all your work on it. Uh, you're staying with us. I am, We've yes. got a phone in for you today. Who do you want to hear from? Well, from scandals to scams. I'm afraid that scams are affecting all of us. They've hugely increased. I want to hear from anyone who 
thinks they've been scammed, anyone who had a near miss with a scam, the more information we get from you about the scams that are circulating, the more we can warn people and stop people from being scammed. And I've got some horrendous stories. Yeah, something tells me this is going to be a really popular phone call. Yeah. Um, it, now, if you want Alice's help, do give us a call for free on 08000 30 40 44, or you can scan the QR code on the screen right now to get involved using our free This Morning app. Please get in touch by 11.15 today. And remember, you must be 18 or over. Thanks, Alice. We'll talk to you later on. Good stuff. Uh, after the break,